what we're trying to work on and we're trying to figure out now, I, don't, I think this is still an evolving area, is how do we measure the social benefit of these programs? And that's what we're committed to doing. We're, we're going to be having a number of things that will be coming out over the next months and, and, and year. Uh, but that's one of the areas that we're going to be looking at. We want to have a system where we can measure not only the number of people that have go, go through our training program, but also really what benefit has it had you know, economically mm -hmm. um, and socially. And how do we do that? I don't think is an easy answer. I think, but that's something that we're going to have to collaborate with other groups mm -hmm. uh, on the ground, NGOs and, and governments uh, that are uh, authorities in these and partner with people that have expertise in these areas to see if it is making a difference. Mm -hmm. And it works but, for your bottom line too? Yeah. So, you know, I, I, th I really uh, appreciate the case here about women's and finance, financial empowerment. If you look at our business, 70% um, of the purchasing decisions for our products are made by women, probably a little, actually a little more than that. When you think about it, it's probably my house, uh, you know, women are buying for families often. And so they're disproportionately buying a lot of things like foods, grocery, personal care, hygiene, laundry soap, things like that. So the, the more they have economic power, uh, the better it is for our business. Absolutely. That's part of our motivation. It's not just, hey, this is a charity or this is a, you know, a great PR thing to do. This, we really believe this is going to help us grow. And our business, too, now um, over half of our business is in the developing markets.